As you already know, the new episode turned out to be the most epic at this point. Bro G-Man fought with all might, and the Astropon clearly didn't underestimate this Gigachad. But although Top G escaped at the end of the episode, it seems that this is only for a while since according to TV Man, they are going to end him forever. And actually, Boom even gave us a hint in which episode we will see this. But right now, I won't spoil it too much. Now we will try to find out what happened in this episode and how these events will influence future episodes. The Astro Toilet's arc has officially begun, and we have seen a stronger dude from their army. In general, this day was eventful since 31 episodes of the Skibidi Multiverse were released at the same time with the 72nd episode by Boom. So be sure that you will watch the analysis of this episode on the Elite Clockwoman channel when you're done here. But what about my video? Today you will find out. Who is this guy and how strong is he? And also what rank does he occupy in the army of Astro Toilets? Because to be honest, it seems to me that he is not the strongest of them. You will also find out what will happen to the poor G-Man Toilet. And we will also discuss some future events. And I will show you some details that you definitely didn't know about. Hello friends, you're on the <laughs> channel. Subscribe to the channel and press the like button under the video to speed up the release of the next video. And let's go. And the episode begins where the first part ended before the start of the battle. And the battle itself begins a couple of seconds later as Uncle G-Man releases all his laser beams. But with surprise, Blood Astro formed a shield for himself from his claws. Although, to be honest, I didn't think that he will be able to block similar attacks, and he will simply dodge. Although he could have dodged it since he is damn fast. And his strength is amazing since with the help of his claws he can absorb the damage of the enemy and then return this attack to the enemy, but in amplified form with the help of an additional claw. And need I say that this ability is found in various movies and anime? As you know, my favorite anime is Naruto, and even there one of the characters had exactly the same ability, and with the help of his hand he could absorb any attack, and then with the help of his second hand he could return the same attack only two times stronger. And in fact this is a very powerful ability, but not for the Astro Toilet since he is a little dump, and he could have ended this fight a long time ago. But anyways, after his attack, Top G turned on his shield and he looked pretty confident in his abilities. And I also did not doubt his confidence because we know that if G-Man could not cope with the general, he would have run away. But if he didn't run away, it is obvious that he is confident in his victory. It seems that this shield appears precisely from the core, and this core is as similar as possible to the core of our Titans. And most likely the toilets began to copy the technology of the Titans after the scientist infected the speaker man, and they clearly experimented on him. But Astro never ceases to amaze us as he showed his new chips in the form of tentacles, and he began to absorb the energy of G-Man's shield. But Top G is not a fool, and he realized that his ass might get fried, and with the help of turning the turbines he was able to move back, but still the general managed to absorb some of the energy from the shield. But the most interesting thing is just beginning because G-Man began to cosplay Iron Man, and generated a cool helmet for himself using nanoparticles, and then the epic shootout with laser beams began. And yeah, it was a funny reference to Harry Potter. Of course, such moments were in different movies and anime, but still, it is Harry Potter that immediately comes to mind. And initially, G-Man's rays were stronger and he began to dominate, but the General's claws began to speed up with every second, and he began to dominate and almost fried G-Man's ass. But, as I expected, Top G had support in the form of Skibidi Kamikaze, which began to distract the General. But Astro didn't even feel the first explosion. But the second explosion fried his face and he realized that this could not continue and he used a sound wave to repel the G-Man's beam and decided to destroy all the toilets that interfered with him. But by doing so, he opened his back and thus he paid for it. And to be honest, he became too self-confident. He underestimates his opponent too much that he dared to turn his back on this Giga Chad. And for this, he caught all G-Man's beam with his face. And after that, he started yapping that enough games. Enough games. Yeah, bro, I agree with you. Enough of this game and Top G should quickly finish with you and send you to the landfill. And finally this fool used his speed to dodge the attack. But he switched to melee combat since he has the advantage is in the form of claws. And G-Man doesn't have the arms to give a decent fight. But as we know from episode 65, G-Man hits his head well. And then the same moment from the troll leaked frame was repeated and I already mentioned that all troll leaks became real in new episodes. But literally in a second, the stupidest moment in this battle will happen. Since Astropon, instead of finishing off G-Toilet, gives him a couple of seconds to use his lion's roar. And no way, bro. I didn't realize that you would screw up like that. And as you know then, usually in the movies, the same thing happens. The main villain is always waiting for something and does not kill his enemy, and then his enemy kicks his ass. And here, it literally happens the same way. Top G uses his crazy roar, and Astro could not stand it and stepped back. But Top G clearly turned on his rage mod, and it looks like he went crazy because his face changed. And before, he was quite calm and sometimes rizzy. But now it's obvious that he lost his mind and started to ram with full might with lasers on. 
and by the face of Astro Toilet, I can tell that he is literally confused, since he didn't expect that G-Man could become so crazy. And Astro decided to retreat for a few seconds, and I'm not gonna lie. If Astro had not retreated, then Blood G would have been fried his ass and sent it to McDonald's. But it's strange that Astro started using his speed only now, and probably if he started the fight this way, he could finish it. But it wouldn't be interesting, and sometimes the character's strength needs to be suppressed in order to the series continued. And Astro began to bombard with his punches. But before the third punch, Top G managed to react and turned on his shield, and thereby Astro kissed this shield and got serious injuries. But Astro disappeared again for a few seconds and tried to deliver a sneaky strike from behind. But already in this frame, it became obvious that G-Man has a third eye from behind and he knows that Bro is behind him. And he instantly turns his head and treats the guest with delicious lasers and more hits with his head. But it seems that Top G forgot that it is useless to use lasers, since Astro can return them back. And G-Man finally realized how he can use this ability against him. At first, he decided to make sure that Astro would absorb this energy ball. And as expected, he stopped it and returned it back to G-Man. Astro was also surprised and said, That's all? No, bro. That's not all. Now you'll be surprised. And Top G has already released two balls, but with purple sparks. And it immediately became clear to me that these were surprise balls. And when Astro stopped them, they disappeared and began to live their own lives and cause damage to their owner. And it's no secret that this is one of TV Man's abilities in which he forces enemies to commit suicide. And Top G again showed a crazy face. It looks like he is literally getting high on this, but he should have released three balls to take control of the third claw, since with the help of the third claw, he destroyed the other claws. But even in this case, he received a lot of damage, and it's unlikely he would have been able to continue this fight if his ass hadn't been saved by another Astro guy. It is also important to note that G-Man is also at the limit, because when he released the balls, the energy in his lasers disappeared and went to the core. And he literally spent all his strength on this battle, but still he won this battle, although not without the help of other toilets. But I think even if the toilets didn't help him, he would somehow get out and win in any case. But now a crazy moment comes, and before the G-Man tried to end the Astro General, another brutal dude appeared who covered his bro with a shield. And this guy looks incredible. From the details, you can see three horns on his helmet, which means that he occupies a high rank in the army. Also, his shield and metal arms look very powerful. And with the help of only one energy ball, he can break through even G-Man's shield. And you can see red sparks on G-Man's body, which means that he will not be able to use his shield for the next few seconds. And I'm not gonna lie, if this brutal dude would have shot Top G again, it would have been the end for him. But Titan Speakerman intervened and tried to knock out this gym boss. But as expected, the Speakerman's toy lasers did not cause any damage to this armored dude. And now we need to pay attention to this dude's projectile, since the projectile is quite slow and not hit the speaker man. But the blast wave was simply crazy, thereby throwing the speaker man to the ground. And when this ball exploded, you can see how the space is spinning in the center of the explosion. And this is also a trick from different anime. And perhaps this toilet has a similar attack, but which can pull the victim towards its center like a cameraman's gravity gun. And then there will be a big boom. But what could I say about this character? At first glance, he looks damn strong, but I'm still sure that this is not the most important Astro Toilet, and we will see even stronger toilets in the future. And I already noted before that the strongest guys never participate in battles and only give orders to weaker soldiers. And the fact that this Astro Toilet did not start a fight with the Titans means that he cannot cope with them. I am sure that he has a chance to defeat the Titans in a one-on-one -on -one battle, but fight against three Titans, this is suicide. And for this reason, he decided not to participate in this battle and took his partner and ran away. And as I noted a minute ago, based on his horned helmet, he is of a very high rank, and at this point he is gym boss. And after the Astro brothers ran away, Speakerman got mad and fired his laser beam at G-Man. But G-Man covered himself with his shield again. But can you smell the fried chicken in the air? Oh yeah, I can smell it. And then Titan TV Man appeared and the disco started right away. But as always, G-Man managed to escape from this meat grinder, but it looks like it's only for a while since the Speaker Man immediately chased after him. And the TV man said that this asshole will die today. Although there was a different phrase in the subtitles, but we know why Boom did it. TV man also said some bad words at the end, but from what I understood, they are going to finish off Uncle G-Man. And cameraman decided to upgrade his weapon and took one of the claws of the Astro General. And now he will clearly become stronger since he will be able to repel attacks just like Astro did. And for the first time, Titan cameraman started talking and said, for plunger, and I completely agree with you. Although in fact, the secret agent is to blame for his death. But at this point, the Titans do not suspect his existence. But this is where this nuts episode ended. And in general, there were a lot of events in this episode. Since we saw what G-Man and also the Astro General are capable of, we also saw a new Astro Boss. And soon even more crazy events await us. 
since it looks like we will say goodbye to G-Man. But as always, soon I will have a more detailed long video about the plot of the next episodes, and perhaps I will invite special guests. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so as not to miss it.